And Marilyn Addo has joined us here in the studio. Thanks for coming. Now, unluckily for the people in South Korea, the development of the new vaccine against MERS comes too late. How hard is that for you? Well, we're excited to see the vaccine move forward in any case. So, um, like, um, it's a, it always takes a long time to develop a vaccine. And so there will be another MERS outbreak in the future. And uh, we'll be ready for that then. And there have been uh, MERS outbreaks in the past, for example, in Saudi Arabia and Chita. We had uh, 93 people dying from MERS in the past. Now, has the virus mutated since? Do you know? Well, um, the current outbreak has been investigated by the WHO and viruses have been sequenced in that context. And there is so far no evidence that um, there is, has been a supermutation or a change in virus sequence that explains why it's been spreading so mm -hmm. rapidly through South Korea. But do we maybe have to expect that? and an epidemic that might follow? Well, we've, we've known um, MERS for, since 2012 now, and there has not really been um, evidence or anything to support that notion at this point in time. So we have to learn more about the virus at this point to see where things are heading. How long will it actually take till the first people can uh, profit from the new vaccine with MERS? Well, we don't know how, lo how long it will take until they can profit in terms of like having it over the counter, but um, we are planning to um, test the vaccine for the first time in humans in uh, the beginning of 2016. Mm -hmm. Now, moving to another dangerous outbreak, you conducted the first tests of Ebola, Ebola vaccines in Germany last year, and we were quite surprised about the speed of the development. Um, were there new techniques involved or what happened? No, there were no new techniques involved, but um, the world community really came together in an unprecedented way to uh, move the vaccine development forward and in response to a global emergency. And that was really inspiring to see. So you didn't leave out anything. I mean, it's not more risky than new vaccines of Ebola. No, there was no cutting corners. Like the safety had not been impaired, but um, things that would have otherwise uh, been done in sequence were, were done in parallel. Um, there was a lot of information sharing and a lot of um, uh, international national communication and interaction that made uh, the process go much more smoothly and much more rapidly. So that's actually the way we should take uh, with the development of new vaccines in the future, right? Especially uh, emergency vaccines. So like an emergency uh, needs a, a fast response. We cannot wait years for a vaccine to, to emerge. Yeah. MERS actually showed up for the first time three years ago. Where do all these new viruses usually come from? Well, not all, but quite a few have their reservoir in, in animals. So. Um, Things like uh, MERS, uh, Ebola also has a reservoir in an animal, and um, the flu has an animal reservoir. So um, those pathogens can jump from an animal to humans and then cause uh, outbreaks and diseases. So I think we have to expect that for the future as well. New viruses will emerge and um, like follow the same pattern. And expecting that, what does that mean for the development of vaccines? Is there a chance to really be prepared? Are there new ideas of developing vaccines? Well, I think um, the, the experiences of the recent years have uh, made us understand that we have to be prepared a little better in the future. And one of the approaches to um, be better prepared in the vaccine setting is to develop vaccine platforms. So mm -hmm. the principle that both the Ebola vaccine that we're studying and the MERS vaccine that we're studying follow is that they're using a carrier virus and an antigen or like a piece of the virus that we want to protect against. And then you just engineer that. If you can yeah. es essentially um, build on this platform and then just stick whatever new virus comes along into that platform, that would be a huge step forward. Sounds great. Thanks a lot for the talk, Marilyn Addo. My pleasure.